Hi guys, I have this area on my veranda area and there's a pigeon right there. She just flew out and I noticed she keeps buzzing around here even at night, scaring me. But I'm not afraid of pigeons. We used to have farm-raised pigeons back home in Jamaica. So I was wondering, why is she here all the time? Look, guys, that's the reason why. I don't know why she chose here to come and lay her eggs, but yeah, she got an egg here. She got an egg here, guys. I'm just going to leave it. It's cute. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these eggs in a while. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there and hopefully I can see a baby Atch. Now I got a little company. I'm going to try not to scare her next time. <clears throat> all right, guys. Out of all the places she chose to come here to lay. Alrighty, guys. Guys, this is my first small little onion harvest. This one here, it uh, the top dried off, so I went ahead and there was another one beside it, and I went ahead and and harvested it. So this is like a bottle cap, and this is like right there. So it's more like a shallot, more than an onion, but. I'm going to be using it my first harvest. Hello guys, I'm here and as you can see, something has been really munching on my coleus and the culprit is right here. I've never seen a caterpillar that big before. So I'm going to get him off. I'm going to try and do a comparison. And yeah, he's big, guys. He's big. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, I took him off. And he makes noise. And there I have a standard bottle, bottle cap. Right there by it. And yeah. He makes noise. He was making a funny tick tick ticking noise. I don't know if he's gonna see if I can get it on camera. He's not quite making it the noise right now, but he was making a little tick tick ticking noise. So yeah, he gotta go. And he's so fat. Look at him. He's so fat. Oh, that thing got a measurement on him on 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 it. So oh, yeah, he's getting pretty defensive here. Hey, hey. <laughs> so this is a uh, start. I think it starts from like two centimeters. Yeah, he's making another ticking noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but he's he's about um, 10 centimeters long. And he's pretty weighty. He's, he's meaty. It's bigger than my finger. I'm not going to get kill it, but he got to go. Yeah, I'm just working in the garden today. I'm not going to quite do a um, garden tour because I'm just going to show you problems I'm having now in my garden. Because right now, my, one of my jujube or coolie plum tree has a fungal breakout. It's the sweet one. I sprayed it with like a sulfur base. Um, well, it's a non-organic um, spray. And I'm gonna see where it goes from here. I'm hoping that it doesn't die. And this one is doing okay, but it got some a little bit of disease on the, under the leaves. The breeze is blowing. We've been getting a little bit of rain. We're now in um, October here in Ghana. So I'm gonna be spraying that also. And my tomato tree is not looking that tomato way anymore. It's phasing out got some disease on it also yeah I'm battling that neem neem oil is not working out so well right now so I'm gonna have to go to non organic 
measures because I have a sulfur base spray that I'm using and it looks like my euphorbia is coming back after taking it out that um, charcoal mix and even though this is a spint bloom but this is the hibiscus the red one right here and here's another plant coming I have as usual she's always performing so I have the red one that's the red one I just showed you to this one and oh they came off I had some yellow canna lily but they they already spun it was beautiful sorry I didn't get the picture of that but this one is the yellow canna lily still pretty though even though it dropped this spent bloom so but hopefully I'm, I'll be getting some seeds so I'm just gonna let this stay on here until it's fully mature then I can propagate some seeds and get some more yellow canna lily it's not the variegated one but I got that from the University of Cape Coast nursery so yeah it's a basic look everything is falling out everything looks good I'm just trying to do a little work here in the garden I need to take off the ear layer from the sour sap. I have my spray here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this here and so this thing won't eat my stuff up anymore. And there was something munching on my plant there also. I planted some banana, some foreign banana, long finger banana here and um, I tr I'm trying a method where I can use one, like basically one um, stalk to make multiple bananas. So wish me luck on that one. They're already planted, so I'm just going to water those in. So yeah, guys, so far so good with the garden. Everything is looking up, but I'm a little bit disappointed with that caterpillar. He chewed up my plant. Look at my plant. It used to be full here, but... Luckily, um, the coalesces are forgiven and they'll fall right back out. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of setback for that plant. So, I'm glad that I caught the culprit though. So, I'm just going to spray these down and call it today. And I need to separate. I still haven't separated my variegated canna lily. So, I need to separate those. All right, guys. See you in another one. Okay guys, I have another successful air layer from the sour sap tree. And here is the roots. And there's the branch, it's pretty fat. I noticed I couldn't get the ear layer done on the way more mature branch, but this one looked like a pretty healthy specimen. And I want to show you guys something. I want to show you the I don't know if my gingers are getting ready. They're looking a little bit floppy and yeah, so and got a little bit of it says it's black cherry tomato but this one ain't blank enough hopefully i can get like the real black ones next time and here is the other sour sap it it has all new leaves all new leaves these are all baby leaves guys nice and healthy I need to spray it <laughs> just to keep it healthy everything is looking okay I lost the little guava it turned over and I didn't see it and it's fried <laughs> but the gardener is doing doing what it's doing I have um avocado and cocoa um, tree there and I'm trying to babysit my plum. This one is looking pretty good. 
and guess what guys my macaroni pepper is i was so shocked yesterday i need to repot this into a bigger pot i have pepper guys i have two on here so i got two peppers on here and i'm pretty excited about that the other one you know the gingers are here the other one is doing not so good i'm thinking about maybe trimming it i don't know let me know guys because the, the leaves are supposed to be big and you see it's um, um i sprayed it from this whatever this is but the new leaves are they're not looking so bad so yeah and i planted a new oregano and you know i have my wax apple here and um yeah everything is looking up oh and here is what the red flower look like wow that's so beautiful and i need to separate that guy he has so many pups in here babies in here there's a lot of stuff i need to separate so yeah, there's a couple separation I need to get done with this pot. And yeah, guys, that's it. I'm potting up. It's almost night. And I'm just trying to pot this up because in the daytime it is hot. It was sunny today. So I'm just out trying to get this guy pot up because I cut it off yesterday. And I'm now getting to it. So I need to pot this up. So and you know these guys they need to be get separated i have one in this pot here which up which was a pup that needs separation and there's another one coming up right here that's gonna be another plant and the mother plant she got two pups that i need to separate on both ends so this is one this is one plant over here and there's another plant over there so yeah guys yep 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 and you need to water those are kind of wilted a little bit so i need to try to get some water in this evening all right guys it's just a quick video see you in another one